Well, hi, everybody. Good Wednesday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. As we've seen increasing clouds overnight, we're starting to see some showers moving into the Panhandle and far southwest Nebraska. It's mostly the western parts of the local four viewing area that will see rain today. I don't think we're going to see much in central Nebraska. Uh, Tri-Cities area, I'm going with a small chance, four, five, six o'clock, and that's like a 20% chance. Chances get better through the evening hours as, as that rain starts to spread eastward through the area during the evening and overnight hours, uh, getting better post 10 o'clock and into tomorrow morning here. Uh, we'll see those decent chances of rain now. West, it starts to come to an end tomorrow morning. In fact, they'll see some clearing during the day tomorrow. Sunshine's going to help warm things up there. Rain chances continue tomorrow morning in central and especially eastern Nebraska, lingering even a little bit into the afternoon. At eastern Nebraska, the best chance during the afternoon. Then this will start to clear out during the evening hours. Meanwhile, west with sunshine, warmer temperatures expected. Clouds will hold temperatures down in central and eastern Nebraska. We'll see that clearing then take place during the evening and overnight hours of Thursday night, taking us into sunnier conditions for Friday and warmer temperatures returning to the area. So how much rain are we talking out there for the next couple of days? I think quarter of an inch to upwards of a half inch, pretty common out there. But there could be some spots that don't get nearly as much rainfall. There's also maybe a few spots that might get a little bit more out there. So uh, again, we're going to be looking at a decent little soaking enough to get some puddles out there. And uh, you know, it's been about nine, ten days now since we've seen rain the last time uh, or precipitation I should, should see the last time we saw clouds and precipitation was that Sunday when we saw snow that was two Sundays ago so it's been a little while so bring that moisture back but again it won't last too long uh, you know maybe up to 24 hours in some spots as for your temperatures for today I'm going on the warmer side of things that said, if these clouds are really thick today, maybe drop three, four degrees off of some of these high temperatures out there. I'm going with upper 50s and lower 60s up north. Out west, this is where your coolest readings are going to be due to the best chance of rain and the thickest cloud cover, mid to upper 50s to right around 60 degrees. I'm thinking lower 60s for the Tri-Cities. Again, maybe upper 50s if these clouds are really thick today, and there's a small chance of rain later in the afternoon hours. Not a very good chance. You're going to stay dry out east, partly to mostly cloudy skies. I'm going to go with lower 60s for high temperatures in the east. Rain chances picking up during the evening and overnight hours tonight, continuing tomorrow, especially in the morning, but even lingering into the afternoon hours, clearing out then tomorrow night. A cooler day tomorrow with those clouds much thicker across much of central and eastern Nebraska, low to mid-50s. As we get into uh, Friday and Saturday, we're back on the warmer side of things in the 60s, breezy but partly to mostly sunny skies. Then a cold front and a kind of a weak clipper system comes through Saturday night, brings a small chance of mostly light rain to the area overnight Saturday night and Sunday early morning hours. The other story with that front coming through, it's going to be cooler and quite blustery for Sunday. We're talking about some fairly strong winds, 15 to 30 miles per hour, gusts up over 35 miles per hour. And with the cooler readings, it's not going to be the best of days on Sunday, despite sunshine returning to the area. And notice the overnight lows behind that system will be down to the 30s Sunday night and Monday night. Back into the 50s on Monday, and it looks like lower 60s for Tuesday. A few more clouds around, and in fact, as early as Tuesday night, probably late night, we may see moisture move back into the area, a slight chance of some rain moving back, and it looks like a little moisture to end the month of October next Wednesday, Halloween, and it looks like another shot of some colder air. At this point, I am hopeful that we won't have to be talking about snow. We'll see. Uh, still some question marks on the timing and how much cold air actually comes in with this system during the middle of next week. Again, that's just beyond this seven-day forecast here. And finally, we'll end things with the uh, forecast for the Husker game on Saturday between Bethune-Cookman, the Wildcats coming in from Florida to take on the Huskers. Temperatures starting off for those early tailgaters around 8 a.m. right after sunrise in the uh, mid-40s and then low to mid-50s at kickoff at 11 a.m. with temperatures into the lower 60s by the end of the game. So not a bad day out there in Lincoln if you plan to head to the uh, game. Northwest winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. So there you go. Looking at some pretty decent weather coming up for the uh, this weekend, for at least the first half of the weekend. Like I said, that Sunday forecast, not quite as nice as the Saturday forecast. So there's your forecast for the entire week ahead, covering every day for the end of the month, except for the 31st. We'll talk about that tomorrow, a little more tomorrow. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you all enjoy your Wednesday. Take care. God bless.